Welcome back guys, today I'd like to discuss losing your gut feeling uh, post-stroke and what to do about it. So I'll have to unpack it a little bit, your gut feeling is, is kind of your conscience, it's your, it's your frontal lobe, your higher faculties um, telling you, you know, what to do, your, your basic morals, how you were raised, uh, that's your gut feeling, which uh, gives you decision making power, which is really difficult post-stroke. So this is quite common if you've had a garden variety stroke, a, a middle cerebral artery stroke or ischemic stroke that's given you some prefrontal damage. Um, this will affect your inhibition and your gut feeling um, or your, your ability to make decisions and, and know what to do. Basically. It's just a matter of um, getting better at it really. You, you, you know, bounce, bounce ideas off family and friends, people who have willing to listen to you and um you know especially financial decisions or things like that so if you're having trouble making decisions just say to someone let me sleep on it um and give them a decision in the morning it's much better than coming up with something on the spot that you can't follow through with so learning how to use your gut feeling again is is difficult it's a very tedious and fickle process um it's really hard to navigate relationships post-stroke with other people um, because of the loss of your gut feeling, basically. But it definitely will get better with time. Um, as I mentioned, I'm seven and a half years post-major stroke and I have my gut feeling back. Um, definitely, I'll, I'll have a conscience. And it can, like I've worked with stroke patients and their partners have accused the, the stroke victim of not knowing right from wrong. I said, no, no, he's, he doesn't know right from wrong. He's lost his gut feeling and just explain it from a frontal lobe damage point of view. Uh, it seems to be more efficient than any, any other way I've found. So I hope that really helps, guys. Thank you.